Let's have a look at what's happening in the UK at the moment. Well, what was happening uh, as of kind of three hours ago. It is election day. Polling stations have just opened in the UK as the nation chooses its next Prime Minister. Around 46 million people are eligible to vote and polls indicate they're wow. set to deliver a landslide win for the opposition. Keir Starmer's left-wing Labour Party is on 40%. Rishi Sunak's Conservatives about 21%. And splitting that vote for the right, Nigel Farage's reform on about 17%. Fuck and if hell. those polls play out, it'll end 14 years of rule by the Conservatives, Britain's oldest and most electorally successful party. But many voters blame them for the... Just remember, it's first past the post pretty much, though. Yeah. So Nigel Farage's party may take 17% of the vote, but they may get near none, no seats. And it's something to be aware of. It's just because it's 40% of the vote, it doesn't mean 40% of the seats, necessarily. Mm -hmm. So first past the post, this is what happens. Yeah. A soaring cost of living, a crumbling health service, and unkept promises on immigration. Our Europe correspondent May Heron joins us now live from London. May, tell us where you are and what we can expect overnight. Good evening. Yes, so well, polls have just opened here less than half an hour ago. And we're in Keir Starmer's patch. He's expected here really soon. And for Labour, they're expecting a big victory. Polls have them winning the biggest majority of any party since... It's good to see that. Uh, you know that if the sound was off, you'd know that it was a left-wing party because someone there does have purple hair. Just cause that's like a, you have to. It's it's now left-wing law. Isn't that true, Chewie? It's law amongst the left? I, I really want to push back on that comment because it's 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 mean, but it's only mean. No, 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 I'm not being mean. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm it's not a, being mean. The blue-haired lefty is, yeah. is it, it is mean but it's also true well i'm not using it in the mean context i'm just going literally on the left there's always someone with blue or purple hair not it's not no piss take it's actually an observation and, there, and there's the one for this photo 1832 and for many people it's a done deal a labor landslide rishi sunak he's going to be out i think labor are going to get a majority but um, a lot of the not so popular parties are going to do quite well. So why do you think that so many people are eager for this change? Uh, have you said so? It's basically anyone but the Tories, the minor mm. parties. So that's what they're saying. In the last 14 well, years in the UK, <laughs> we're all eager for change. So the question really is, how badly will Rishi Sunak and the Conservative Party do? You already have public, um, uh, you already have senior members publicly saying that they are going to lose, and they even tried to roll out Boris Johnson in the eleventh hour. But it all feels a little too late for the Conservative Party that have been in power for fourteen years. Do you think that was a literal statement, rolling out Boris Johnson? I, I was I was hoping the rest of that sentence was they've also tried rolling Boris Johnson into the Thames. They should have done that <laughs> fucking eight years ago, but still. There you go. Never Once too a late. formidable party potentially on the brink of collapse. Of course, the vote being somewhat split on the right by the rise of Nigel Farage and the Reform Party. How will that affect Britain? Yeah, well, it depends on how well Nigel Farage will do. I mean, he's, uh, you'll remember him as being the face of pro Brexit, Ugh. anti EU, anti immigration. I don't him without he wants milkshake all over his face. <laughs> to do things like prioritise British people in areas like social housing, sending uh, immigrants to the back of the queue. He wants to be a dominant voice in UK politics. So even Fucking if God. Labour do win. Did you hear him do his Eminem rap last the other day? Just a little but like uh, Marine Look who's back. Uh, right party has done in France. Ten Arkway, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty terrifying about Nigel Farage. 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 Yeah. Whatever you I, I, choose to call them. The, the fact that 17% polling for, for... Like, this is a man that delivered Brexit. Something that has failed completely and utterly in every fucking metric that he said it wasn't w was going to improve it's going to be great for british business it's going to reignite the the, the pride in, in in england it's all bullshit it's all jingoistic shit that was just dressed up of like we want to send the darkies home and the 17 percent of his country after after that are going yeah he's got my vote just yeah. absolute ham-faced people voting for that man like yeah. every every why why would you vote from like if if you had 
come from Mars today and you were shown the pictures of those three people, you'd go, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> he just like, looks the just, part. just on his face. He's just got such a punchable face. So, Look, so the, that means the, if you were if you were casting a movie and you needed an idiot and those were the three for profiles, you go, that one. He's the yeah. one that looks like a goofball. Like we, we need to cast a role in this movie where someone just steps on rakes for half an hour. <laughs> I would cast Nigel Farage. Um, yeah, look, the, the Tories are fucked. A, because they've done an absolute shit show of running that country to the point where people are so fucking angry and sick of it. Um, but also they have the reform party spoiling them for the people that are just like, well, I'm, I'm not going to vote for any, they've got to be on the right. And, on, and I, I do hate a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to vote for reform. And, and then you've got the, I think that, what are they? The liberal Democrats? Yep. Lib Dems. Yeah. Lib, Lib Dems. They're, they've always been a weird, uh, sort of party that is, is kind of somewhat of a safe protest vote, that sort of thing. But I think the thing to stress here is Labour are not winning on their own merits. Keir Starmer but... is not going out there and, and, and winning hearts and minds. It is, it is more, we hate these guys. They've done a bad job. Somebody else's turn, please, now. But, dude, isn't that kind of every election? I remember I used to have this conversation on Talkback all the time. People would phone up and say, look, I was there through the, the Labour nine years. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. That would be exactly the, the, what happened here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, well, not quite. People will fall into some things disingenuously by grifters and liars. But the, the thing that people don't realize that it's it's time for a change. You know how things have equals and opposites? Is the mm. equal and opposite to better the devil you know? They're actually they have the same value, time for a change and better the devil you know. But it seems in politics it comes out time for a change. And you're right. I wonder how many, I don't know, I haven't seen any research, there might be some out there, how many elections and what percentage of people are voting against a party rather than voting for a party. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 50-50, it might even be more, who knows? I mean, to borrow a, a phrase from the Juice Media over in Australia, this is a, a choice between the shit party and the shit light party. You know, Labor Labor aren't waving the red banner and, and, and going and charging for workers' rights and all of that sort of stuff. They are still very much a light Tory party at this stage. And, and oh. Keir Starmer is, is an amorphous grey blob in a rough human shape. He's not a personality. He doesn't have a position unless someone tells him he has a position. Yeah. Um. You know, he's he's someone that has been essentially the last man standing at the Labour Party. Yeah. Another way to look at it could be this one. I said this the other day. South oh. Parks. <laughs> 2000, that's 20 years ago, bro. 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. People can obviously figure this out. But Simple there was, times. There was Happy a choice history. in the election for a mascot for the school between a giant douche and a turd sandwich and a very mm. clever script that should probably have won all sorts of awards about when you vote in an election, you're voting between a giant douche and a turd sandwich. Sometimes, not always, not always, but it seems that's Sometimes possibly the situation in the UK.